With Marvel being the newer kid on the block, they have often been accused of ripping off DC. But what if, in some of these cases, the opposite was actually true? Well, here are some surprising times when ripoffs happened, but not in the way you think. Lex Luthor and the Kingpin Lex Luthor predates the Kingpin as a character by a few decades, so it would seem surprising to think that Lex could, in any way, have ripped off Wilson Fisk. But that's exactly what happened. Lex started off as a mad scientist, even going as far as having a green robot suit. Fisk, on the other hand, started out as a public businessman but secret underground crime boss. Sure, Kingpin may have ripped off Lex's haircut, but once Mr. Luthor was revamped during the John Byrne reimagining of Superman, Lex became a much more intellectual and secretly evil character, just like the Kingpin. Aquaman and Namor. With both being kings of half-human and half-Atlantean descent ruling the underwater city of Atlantis, and you can see why many people often mix these two up. And while Marvel being the younger company often gets accused of being the house of stolen ideas, that is definitely not true in the case of the Submariner. Namor made his first appearance in the early stages of Marvel back when it was known as Timely Comics in 1939. About two years later, and Arthur Curry would appear in the pages of DC Comics. Namor along with Captain America is one of only a few timely characters to survive into the modern day Marvel, but that hasn't stopped many fans from thinking that Aquaman is actually the OG Atlantean. Slade, Wade, and Masters Everyone knows that Deadpool is very similar to Deathstroke, even with their names being very similar, Wade Wilson and Slade Wilson. Now, Deadpool has in recent years grown into his own popularity as a comedic anti-hero, but originally he was more like the New Mutants version of what Deathstroke was to the Teen Titans. However, what not everyone realizes is that originally Slade was actually a ripoff of Marvel's character Taskmaster, aka Anthony Masters. Killer Croc and the Lizard Dr. Kurt Connor became the Lizard in the 1960s and has become one of Spider-Man's biggest foes. Killer Croc first began throwing down with Batman around 20 years later. Now at first, Waylon Jones just looked like a man who had a terrible, well, really terrible skin disorder. But over time, Croc has grown everything from an elongated snout to razor-sharp teeth and even a tail, making him way too much like the Lizard as far as I'm concerned. Batman Beyond and Spider-Man 2099 While Bruce Wayne hit the comics long before Peter Parker did, their future mantle holders can't say the same. Batman Beyond has a much higher place in people's consciousness, being a popular cartoon character. Spider-Man 2099, on the other hand, was originally part of a short-lived comic series. Given that TV reaches a lot more people than the comic book medium, it's no surprise that many people think that 2099 is actually a ripoff of Batman Beyond. However, Miguel O'Hara debuted in 1992, while Terry McGinnis had to wait until 1999 to arrive. Furthermore, McGinnis is a high school student, a lot like Peter Parker was when he first started out. He's also smaller and leaner in size, just like Spider-Man. He quit also just like Spider-Man, and he is much less emotionally damaged than the original Batman. In some ways, Terry has much more in common with Spidey than with bats. Catwoman and the Black Cat Felicia Hardy is often accused of being a carbon copy of Selina Kyle, but the reverse is more true than people realize. Yes, Selina Kyle started off as a thief and a villain to Batman, and there were eventually some romantic subtext between the two characters, but it wasn't until after the Black Cat emerged on the scene did some of Selina's more well-known characteristics get dialed up to 11. The strong, self-empowered female nature, the over-sexualization, the complexity of a relationship that has two people on opposite sides of the law. These traits were all very apparent in Felicia Hardy from very early on. And after her creation, Selina began picking up her game in the exact same department, making the two even more similar than they were originally conceived to be. Well, there you go, that's my list, but what did you think? Let me know in the comments, and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and as always, this has been Dave Knows.